Hey everyone, Kubo here and welcome back to my Chrono Cross playthrough. Today we are going to head into the Dead Sea at long last and see what's up. So what we need to do is we need to go to where this little gap is in the reef and use the Fiddler Crab. And quite how a Fiddler Crab causes such destruction I could not tell you but we need to make our way into death's door where radius is waiting for us and we can carry on making our way oh what's that sword the evil sword Masamune interesting we know about the Masamune it's the uh it's the sword in Chrono Trigger but it's evil now. So what happened to uh, to Masa and Mune? Looks like we're going to have to go back. And we can't actually go into the Sea of Eden after all, I guess. And the negative energy that the sword is giving off, the bad vibes, means that we can't go forward unless we want to go absolutely crazy. So, we're going to need an alternative way of getting in. Looks like we need the Einlander, the Dragon Sword. Forged by the Dragonites from uh, about 65 million BC. And Garai used to be the owner of that. Um, sleeps within the cavern. Well, time to do some tomb raiding, I guess. In the Isle of the Damned, you may have been here already, um, we have not, but it's the island in the northeast corner of the archipelago. Used to be an ordinary cavern, now full of undead people and demons and things like that. And negative sentiments plus holy sword equals really, really bad juju. But... It doesn't matter, we need to we need to get this done. And we need an item in order to proceed into the Isle of the Damned. Time to get back in the boat and head to the Hermit's Hideaway where we can get the item. So we are going to go directly north and here we go, Hermit's Hideaway Shore. Gonna enter the Hermit's Hideaway. And Radius somehow teleported here and got here well before us. We we don't question it. So Dario's father, Garai, and I used to frequent this island for training. Yeah, so Radius and Garai used to be colleagues, brothers in arms, training buddies, and obviously for some reason Garai is like twice the size of Radius. Not quite sure how, but we're just going to let JRPG do JRPG things. And it turns out Radius and Garai really got along. So the Einlander is a sword that's passed down through the Acacia Dragoons. Think of it as like a badge of honor except Badge of Honor that can really slice people in two very quickly. So it belonged to Garai, Dario took over the title. Um, but Garai is dead, Dario is nowhere to be seen. Who knows what's going on? But yeah. So they clearly came here, found the uh, Masamune. And Garai senses something slightly disturbing about it. Uh, but Radius is like, lol, don't care. Got myself a sword now. And it's time to make our way out. Now, this isn't actually the Isle of the Damned, but we will be coming back here much later in the story. So, evil stuff. I d what happened to Master Mune? I could not tell you. Well, I could, but that would be spoilers. Um, but yeah. From being a holy sword now full of negative energy, driving it mad. 
and now full of evil sentiments. Like, really, really bad stuff. Okay, so... We could wait for Radius to um, go up to the room and then come back down the ladder. Or what you can do is you can wait right by the door, spam the A button, and we can just do this. He, he will come back down the ladder otherwise, but, you know, you can save yourself like 15, 20 seconds of your life. And we get Garai's keepsake. We need that before we can go to the Isle of the Damned. Otherwise, you will... Um, you will run into a blocker. So, there's this patch of grass here. Bear that in mind for later. You might think this is a treasure chest. You would be wrong. There is a pot here. You think that might be a treasure chest. You would also be wrong. Commiserations, you are now 0 for 2. You might think that bag has something in there. Commiserations, you'd be wrong 0 for 3. Uh, no, no, nothing here. Just gonna, just, just showing that bit. Okay, now that we're done with the Hermit Hideaway, time to get into the meat of this episode and make our way to the Isle of the Damned. Okay. First things first. Um, let's talk about the Will of the Wisps in here. They are the fire enemies you can see. Uh, right now, there is only one, and it's in the bottom left-hand corner of this map. We are going to very shortly run into it. Now, obviously, there are more than just um, these. They're called Will of the Wisps in here. There's more than just these. Um, we want to get into fights only with Will of the Wisps and Deadbeats. Deadbeat exactly the same as it was in the... Uh, on the SS Invincible Black Innate. Might have slightly more HP, but I don't think you've got too much to worry about there. So, I'm just going to take care of these. Feel free to, uh, with Sprig, turn into the Lagoonate. But I will be showing off a very easy way of dealing with these. Now, sometimes with the Will of the, will of the Wisps, they will arrive with a um, Deadhead, which is the boss that we fought on the SS Invincible earlier, if you remember. Um, if that happens, run away. You do not want to take it on. Like, there's no point, there's no point doing it. Just run away, go back into the same encounter, and everything will be okay. Yeah, Lynx isn't actually going to do too much damage to these because they share a... Uh, because they share an element, uh, an innate, sorry. Lynx is black innate, remember? Luckily, Sprig has this here photon beam that will deal just enough damage to finish it off. And there we go. Mini level up. We're going to heal with consumables. Remember, we've got some heal laws with us now, which will make things easier. Now, now that this has happened, the game reveals a mechanic, which is whenever you defeat a Will of the Wisp enemy, it will explode and reveal a pathway. What you can do with these Will of the Wisps is that you can lure them to a area of your choice. So we want this Will of the Wisp to start following us, and we're going to walk to our destination. There is two destinations on this screen here and there's two destinations uh, in another screen if you run to your destination you will lose the will of the wisp so just bear that in mind okay so this is the first door that we want to open okay this is the ideal scenario so this is what I suggest you do for all these enemies you open up with a Harley doing a three and a three. That should deal with one. This is really good. Uh, Magma Burst is not so good though. Because she might now get confused. Yeah. The unfortunate thing about these Will of the Wisps is that they have a tendency to confuse people. So what we want is Harley to do a three and a three followed by an Ice Blast two. Uh, if one of the threes misses, you want to use Moonbeams instead. 
if none of the if you haven't killed all the enemies then follow this up with the lynx one two two into lynx's glide hook and that should deal with it if not sprig can use a two two three combination and that'll be that again if you run into uh deadheads run away from them It's as simple as that. The good news for us, though, is that Confuse is not a permanent status defect. But there we go. We get Earthquake. Okay. Here's another Will of the Wisp. There is a second door we can explode here. I want to lure this Will of the Wisp towards us. Is it following us? I think it is. Okay, good stuff. Oh, no, it's not following us. Now it's following us. So... Next up, we want to go down this passageway here with the Will, will, will of the Wisp in tow. This is the other one we want to open. And what's behind door number two? We get ourselves a carapace. Okay, remember we are in the home world at the moment. And yes, you would be correct. In the other world version of this area, the Isle of the Damned, there are some different uh, rewards, and we will be covering those as well, don't worry. Okay, in order to get past this screen, basically there's lots of wrong answers. We're looking for the right answer, which is to go down here. And that'll take us to this area here, and we'll find out that we are blocked off. We can't go any further. What we need to do is we need to use the Garai keepsake, which will allow us to go through the mirror. Simple as that. And now we have two more treasures we can pick up here. Oh, the Will of the Wisp uh, came onto us very quickly. Far too quickly for my liking. I was in the middle of explaining something. Okay, so we're now going to walk with this Will of the Wisp. It's very close to us. So again, remember, you can just run away if the Will of the Wisp accidentally comes into contact with you. What we want to do yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the Will of the Wisp isn't really playing fair at the moment, which is understandable. I wouldn't play fair either. Okay. This time, we are at the right place. <clears throat> oh, we got a mini level up as well. Uh, strength for Lynx. Strength and magic for Sprig. Amazing. And strength and magic for Harley as well. This is a really good mini level up. That's amazing. Maybe our luck's beginning to turn. But anyway, for doing this, we unlock a third passage, or sorry, a third treasure, and we get the Inferno element. Okay, one more thing I would like to pick up here. You see that uh, piece of armor at the bottom there? We need to blow that up as well, which sounds very strange, I know. Uh, I need this one to start following me though. Good. No, yes, 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 yes. No, come here, come here, come here. What are you doing? Proof, if you ever need it, that I don't always get this right. Uh, but yeah, what we want to do is we want to blow that armor up because it's got something that we really want, including an item that we can sell for a lot of money. First things first, though, I need to, once again, blow up the Will of the Wisp. Now that that's done, we have successfully animated the White Knight and we're going straight into another battle. The White Knight, 787 HP, uh, 14 action points, so quite slow. But we are fighting the White Knight for two reasons. Uh, first of all, it drops the Golden Tiara, which we can sell for a lot of money. It can also drop a Rainbow Shell, which has a 10% chance of dropping. If you really care, you can you can reset and do this fight until you get the rainbow shell, but I personally am not going to bother doing that. But White Knight is also a doppelgang for Sprig, which means that we want Sprig to get the finishing blow in her natural form. So we're going to open with Lynx doing a 2-3-2. Uh, the three miss, that's very unfortunate. And in comes Sadness Wave which can uh, 
temporarily decrease our attack and increase and then the white knight increases its defense which is really unfortunate and uh lynx has decided now is the time that we are not going to bother um hit landing our hits so back to lynx and i could really do with lynx landing some twos okay that did happen we are slightly behind on damage so we'd better hope this works but now we want oh yeah hull needs to hit level five okay we did it that time The good news is though is that Lynx can now cast where is weak minded. There it is, we're going to cast weak minded on the White Knight. Nice and easy. And then with with Harley we're gonna defend. Because with Lynx we now once again need to cast into the element. And we're going to cast Magnify. Not only does Magnify increase the um, element, elemental damage by 1.5 times, but it also begins to fill the field with white, which is a really good thing. So next up, I want to cast Meteorite with Harley. 333. And then with Sprig, we want to finish off the White Knight with Photon Beam plus 3. This should do enough damage. If it doesn't do enough damage, we need to keep going and we would need to just keep on hitting with Sprig until the White Knight falls over. Sprig only learns doppelgangs when she gets the killing blow in her natural form. So you can't be in doppelgang form. You have to be in natural form. Okay, so for winning that, we got iron, which is really unfortunate. But we also get the golden tiara. This is the item that we'll be selling for 75,000 G later. It's, don't worry about it as an accessory. We are simply here for it being a um, gold making machine, let's say. Anyway, we are now ready to come into here and let's see what's going on. Lynx, Sprig, Harley, may you all rest in peace. ruh -ro. Well, what happened, Radius? What went on? Well, we, so we picked up the Masamune in... Or Radius picked up the Masamune in a cave that we will be coming to a lot later on. But how did it make its way from the mainland to the El Nido uh, archipelago? Well, it doesn't matter because Radius has just sliced Garai in two and he has fallen over. Well. Radius's jealousy got the better of him. How the turntables. So yeah, basically the Masamune in its current form will just drive anyone crazy. So we need to do something about that. But we first of all just have to get rid of the Masamune's evil energy. The Masamune used to be the holy sword that conquered darkness. Now it's just the holy sword, the unholy sword that is darkness. Well, this seems ominous. I'm sure Garai is really, really happy with how things went and he doesn't hold a grudge whatsoever. Nothing, nothing bad. No, no hard feelings. And I'm sure the red eyes, they're just, you know, they're just red eyes. And it looks like we're going to have to go through Garai, or whoever this is, to get access to the Einlander, which makes sense. But there's two Einlander there. But anyway, let's not worry about that. 
Garai! 1,987 hit points, 6 action points. This guy is fast. Uh, he's white and 8 as well. So what on earth are we going to do? Well, we're going to open with Sprig. Sprig's going to get in some wands. We're going to try and get her to level 5. And it looks like Garai's start has been very slow. So in this situation here, we are just going to use Doppelgang. And you'll notice that White Knight is now available as a Doppelgang ability. And that's what we're going to do. Here we go. Good start. So Grai's going to get his turn in and this guy hits. That's 46 damage off a single normal attack. Like, it's going to get out of control very quickly if you're not careful. Here's what we need to do next. Harley needs to get to level 4. Everything is hitting. This is good. We then want to cast Diminish. Garai has a lot of elemental attacks. Which we want absolutely nothing to do with. So we're going to halve element damage. Really important. Don't skip that step. Next up, White Knight is going to go in with a 2 and a 3. And because White Knight is black in 8... Uh, and two-thirds of the field right now is black. Good to do a lot of damage. Triple Cut comes in. 99 damage again. The the mix of the Diminish and the fairly black field means that that doesn't do that much damage. We're okay. Lynx is up next. We're going to just do 1-1 one, one to get to level 2. Don't be fooled by the fact that Lynx is black in 8. He is not our source of damage for this fight. Uh, strengthen. Well, there we go. We got there in the end. We want to strengthen the White Knight. Oh, we're getting a bit of frame loss there from the game. Ah, uh, Square Enix. Anyway, forget that. Next thing we want to do is we want to use Harley to do a single attack. And then we're going to cast Turn Black on Garai. Why are we doing this? Because turn black misses, and the simple reason being is that we're looking to force a we're looking to force a counter out of Garai. And also it moves the it also makes it so that there can never be more than one white on the field effect. That's really important. Okay, so Lynx is up next. We're gonna go with a 1-1-2 here. Ooh, the, that missed. That's unfortunate, but we've got the level 3 for the glide hook. That's 169 damage. That's now 2 black on the field. Which means that we should be able to do a 2 and a 3 with White Knight. And if we've calculated our damage correctly... Oh, nice crit. I don't think the crit mattered there, but if you've... If you've not missed anything, the fight should end there. If it doesn't end there, um, feel free to use some heal alls. That will make the fight a lot easier. Revive with Harley if you need to. If Harley dies, it doesn't actually matter that much. Um, Lynx and Sprig are the important ones. But anyway, for winning, we're going to get all those sexy um, level ups we got from the mini level ups in our next growth level. In case you've forgotten, if you get a mini level up between growth levels, your next growth level will be exactly the same as the previous mini level up, except the HP will change. That's it. So two excellent growth levels in a row, um, stack growths in a row, sorry. We are going to heal with consumables if we have to. Okay, looking good. And we get Dragoon's Honor for winning. I made that fight look a lot easier if Garai gets an attack before Sprig can doppelgang. Delay the doppelgang. So Sprig does ones. Garai, if Garai does his first attack there, switch immediately to Harley, then do the diminish, and then go back and do the doppelgang with Sprig. And then you can basically go forward from there. 
You may, instead of using Turn Black with Harley, need to use Heal All instead. So just be careful there. Um, but the strategy is largely the same. Anyway, for winning, we get the Einlander, only one of them. You may have seen the rumors that you can get two Einlanders. That is true. And we will be trying to find the second Einlander later on in the playthrough. But anyway, Garai is gone, Dario is gone. So Glenn is the next in line for the Einlander. And that means that, yes, indeed, Glenn can equip the Einlander. We're going to make our way out now. But before I make my way out, there is one enemy that I would like to show off. We've already talk, talked about the dead beats and the dead heads, but there was one enemy floating around in the screen here. This one, you, you might be able to see it. You, it can't actually reach us up here. We have to go down. Um, yeah, here it is. Uh, it's just refusing to engage with us. I'm not entirely sure why. There we go. <laughs> Got there in the end. Okay, so what's the deal with this? Well, let's kill off the Will-O-The-Wisps first. I think that would be sensible. So again, 3-3 uh, three, three with... Harley, she is hitting everything. That's really good. Uh, we're going to use the Ice Blasts. Uh, the Airframe. Yeah, Blackinate, as you can see. Okay, so with Lynx, I want to do a 2 2 3. And the Airframe's first ability is this very powerful. Um, dive ability it just can do a lot of damage even to people that, ha that are black innate so just bear that in mind uh 450 hp as well so this is this is quite a tanky enemy if you're not careful that's quite a lot uh yeah we'll use photo photon beam here Ninety-six. Okay, maybe Harley will be able to finish this off. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, we didn't get. Uh, we got some fire pillars from the Will of the Wisps, but we didn't get anything from the airframe other than the bone and some hiccups as well. Jeez. Anyway, that is everything we can do in the Isle of the Damned for now. There are other things we would like to do, um, but they're either not unlocked yet or they're in an entirely different version of this place. Intent. Okay. So what next? We do actually want to go back to the Dead Sea now that we've got the Einlander. And we can dispel the negative energies around the Masamune with the Einlander. We don't even have to go into our menu to use it. The Masamune will recognize that the Einlander is here. And we will cleanse the negative energies. And pick up one of the most powerful weapons in the entire game right now. Ah, this is very anticlimactic, but come on. There we go. Yes, we're going to get the Masamune. Look at it flash and... Oh. <laughs> never mind. Oh, well. Guess we're never going to get the Masamune. But it is time to make our way forward. into the Dead Sea.
in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, don't forget to leave a like on the video. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye-bye.